All right, we are live, hopefully. It's been two and a half months since I streamed anything. In fact, I'm pretty sure the last thing I streamed was the winner's finals, which was just this match, again. Let me open up the chat and see what's going on here. Hopefully people can hear me. What's up, Rose? You can hear me, that's good. Uh, let's attempt to center this camera. Oh, I also have, I did not prepare for anything at all. How do I turn off these? We don't need notes, we don't need the top menu, we don't need tools, everything's already spawned in, make it look pretty. Hello, Chibi of the Sun, how are you? Hello, Eternal Mage. How are you? And looks like we're going to get started soon enough. Oh, let me go back to Spectator. So for those of you that are unaware, this is the Grand Finals of the Customs Tournament that's been going on. So there is a set of maybe 25 or so curated customs um, by various members of the community that were legal for this tournament. You could also, in fact, pick like just like a random character. Like I think I saw like a Ryu or something, like it's just a random Ryu in the tournament or something. But uh, yeah, we are finally at the grand finals. Chica, I think is undefeated so far in the tournament. He's been rocking the uh, Shitoto and he's been rocking the Slayer. Uh, hello, Byron. Byron, I think you're the you were the guy who Byron, I think someone told me that you were the one who made uh Shitoto, right? Uh Chica's been Chica's been just absolutely wrecking shop with this character. Uh I think every time I've seen Chica pull out the Shitoto, he's just been undefeated. Uh, and he's been rocking a slayer as well. I've not seen his third character. I don't even recognize what picture that is, if I'll I'll be uh quite honest. D has been rocking uh, the Amaterasu I've seen him play. I think I've actually seen him play all three characters. Um, but looks like we're off. And looks like Chica is not rocking either of the uh, two characters that I was talking about before. He's rocking the Ferian. So this character I've actually not seen but before. Even though we made it all the way to Grand Finals. Uh, this is an interesting one. Your specials and ultras have cleaned up with this attack hit. Place in your boost area and sustain it. So yeah, we'll take a look at the kit real quick. Uh, D is rocking the Amaterasu. We've seen Amaterasu 500 million thousand times. Uh, so we'll take a look at the Furion kit instead. Uh, what do we have here? We have a uh, focus -y shape that... These are all expensive boosts, by the way. Uh, does it say put into play? Yeah, so it appears as if you don't have to pay the expensive boost costs on these. I'm assuming these are going to be slightly overcosted boosts, but like still decent. Yeah, these are pretty overcosted, all things considered. Um, so what do we have here? We have a focus-like shape. Um, with Brave, of course the Bravery mechanic is, uh, if you have a certain amount of gauge, you can go ahead and gain those Brave mechan uh, those, uh, Brave triggers, so, this character Furion has a couple here, there's a Brave 3 here, I don't know, I think this might be Poulter's, uh, custom, if I'm not mistaken, I know he, he's, a. Uh, I know these are, like, his card frames, I think he's the guy who's doing the... I think they're the one doing the brave mechanic. Uh, so anyway, we have a focus here. We have, what is this? Uh, can be fireball for one force and you get to choose your range afterward at the cost of more force. It's a pretty expensive card there, but I mean, being able to choose your own range afterwards is generally pretty good. We have a fireball here, slow fireball for guard three speed. Uh, can pump be pumped up to five armor, notably five power notably ignores armor. Uh, so maybe a checkmate situation to look out there for there with the reeling edge. 
Shocking Lash is your typical whip shape. Uh, only this has a push pull one, so a lot of whips do have. You can move two spaces or move yourself and the opponent two spaces. Uh, not that one. Uh, so I'm just making sure they're not getting started yet. And of course, we have another fireball, so it's fireballs galore here. Uh, this fireball gains power based on whether the opponent's at the edge or not. I'll take a look at the boost too, because the boost will come into play. Four guard, uh, plus one power, ignore armor, hit draw two. Uh, so we take a look at these boosts that are generally like a little bit over costed. But again, they get put into play thanks to a Furion's UA, right? Uh, so a little bit of a of a build up character looks like. And D, of course, rocking the Amaterasu. Amaterasu just a really really popular pick in this tournament. I think I've seen six or seven different uh, Amaterasu's, but it looks like we're already off. Chica looks like he's won the coin toss, going first. D going second. Uh, Amaterasu, of course, starts in reflector form, but has two different forms. Uh, generally, what I've seen from Amaterasu gameplay is that Amaterasu just switches back and forth between this and this, or this one, excuse me. Uh, the rosary form, just, you don't, I, you never see it, basically. Uh, just switches back between reflector and glaive, from what I've seen. Uh, and has critical effects based on that. Uh, quick really the kit, we have like a focus type card, we have uh, the Noel card, a Noel mid speed, we have Tatsu. Uh, this Tatsu is just super reliable, goes up to six power as well with Glaive. Uh, we have Sab on curve. Uh, speed six, range two, we have we have a fast fireball here, although it closes, so we'll trade. And looks like we are off. Sorry, I didn't didn't get to look at the ultras, but that's okay. Uh, and that's a, it's a car bag. We see Chica just prepare. Of course, we are, we are not in season six or season seven meta yet. Preparing turn one is the play. Um, so maybe, I don't know if we'll see Chica maybe hard cast some of these boosts, but they do cost a lot. Anyway, we're going to see Amaterasu with the draw three, then strike range four options include the spirit storm and the fleet foot, both speed five. Uh, low guard though, so maybe we can, um, I guess Chica can technically respond with something like a Maelstrom Lance or a Sweep. Yeah, that'll do the trick, because all of Amaterasu's range options appear to advance, and yeah, that's exactly what will happen. The four Shears will go first, and we'll get swept in response. So we're pulling out the focus from D's hand. And, of course, D must switch forms. He switches to... Uh, the Glaive form, and then switches back. Of course, thanks to the clean ability of four shears, basically allowed to keep uh, keep your form, right? Uh, so again, when D initiates a strike at range one, has plus one speed, and if he crits it, gets advantage on it as well. So Firion, go ahead and boost defend at range one. Nothing, nothing too uh, serious there. D threatening maybe a speed seven cross, perhaps. Don't know. I mean, Amaterasu. Can perform well in that range four, uh, quote, has multiple range four options. I mean, they're a little bit all predictable in that they all do the same thing, but could be, could be, uh, speed seven cross, could just be speed eight grasp, although I don't think so with the defend. And yeah, just as we predicted, is a speed seven, uh, cross, however, gets caught by the magic arts. Uh, so magic arts, of course, is that one to six option that we were talking about, uh, at the cost of a good amount of force, right, depending on what range you want to pick. So the cross will go first, we'll hit for two, and then Chico, of course, will almost assuredly spend the force for this. Drops the reeling edge, so maybe thinking that uh, we're going to be going to range two here for Chica after dropping that uh, speed four option. Although this speed, this uh, range four option, excuse me, is not as reliable as you'd like it to be, just because Amaterasu has a lot of fast advancing options, as we saw earlier, so... Maybe this reeling edge wasn't really going to hit anyway. So just a reminder, uh, Furion on cleanup will be able to have this as a boost at diamond base, plus one power, ignore armor, hit draw two. That's a good boost. That's a really good boost to have. Uh, so I'm assuming Chica's going to move into range two with this. Oh, actually pushes two. Interesting. Uh, range six options. Oh, we're looking at a straight arrow here. Uh, straight arrow is pretty... Unbeatable? Was it unbeatable? Surely there's no advanced four in this kit. 
I did forget that uh, they're just... Forgive me, because this is the first time looking at the kit. But there is a range 6 option here. And it is that straight arrow. Um, and actually, Chica chooses not to uh, do this. So this is a May. And Chica actually engages it. And then now pushes Amatrasu to range 6. Amatrasu with the Glaive form. Glaive form is not going to do a whole lot here. And options that hit a range 6, of course, are just the straight arrow, I believe. Also the magic arrow. Uh, oh, D Wild Swing is the block. Maybe we were looking at that diamond base ignores armor. Uh, if it was boosted, right? But it's not meant to be. Uh, this is going to be a 6 power straight arrow incoming. Uh, it has the brave ability on it as well. And Furion will retreat one. So we're still maintaining this long range at range 5. And Chica will boost this one. So it's the Yoichi's bow. Gives them additional range. We're at range 5, so range 3 mix up now applies for Chica should he choose uh, to play that way. And also spends a gauge to draw 3. Uh, Chica running a little bit low on resources there. The Yoichi's bow gets teched by D. Still at range 5, so. Farian has a bunch of cards that hit again. Three of them, I believe. Uh, has he drawn any of them? No, Chica just preps. Back to Yamatsurasu, still in glaive form. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure nothing hits. Although, I. Okay, so D's actually going to switch to that rosary form. Uh, when you initiate a strike, your attack has a plus one range and minus one speed. On crit, you have plus one range. Uh, this is actually just the first. I think I've cast in maybe six or seven Amatsurasu games. Oh, yeah, it's the rosemary form, excuse me. This is. This is, I think, maybe the first or second time I've seen someone actually opt for the Rosary form here. Uh, so part of the issue with the Rosary form is the fact that uh, this, like, plus one range is kind of mandatory. So I do, like, what just happens generally is just the opponent moves in, although maybe Furion won't be doing that here at range five. That'd be a ton of force to spend. Uh, Furion actually moves to range three, spending the Wild Rose to do so, and D, of course, going to go for that overdrive. Uh, the Amatrasu Overdrive is just really, really good. Um, so basically all three sides flip. Uh, Reflector gets you advantage and just plus one speed all the time. Uh, Glaive gets you advantage if you stun the opponent, uh, as is Rosary. Uh, but if you look at the Overdrive abilities, draw one on all of them as well. So this this Overdrive, I think, is pretty, pretty nuts in my opinion. Uh, just so much sustained pressure being able to... Uh, be exerted by this character thanks to that overdrive of just draw one and then they gain advantages as well uh Farian just plays assault d wild swing spike there it's gonna be four more for Farian. uh i'm gonna down to 16. d stuck at, stuck in this rosary form but uh it's okay because it's only on initiate uh d wild swings cross Farian plays a range one sweep d of course on short side of board so he will get swept uh, pulls actually that second spike out of out of the hand. Amaterasu only down 10 HP here. Uh, however, Amaterasu, I'm, I'm assuming, will just be taking a whole bunch of turns here. Uh, with this overdrive. So the overdrive, draw one. You may change your weapon. So D drops that four shears from his overdrive, uh, from his overdrive, which is right here. Switches to that reflector form, so he has plus one speed on all of his moves. And only both spikes are down, so blocking is safe, I believe. Unless we pair it with a power slash. But said D boosts that second copy of that golden ink pot. Draw three, then strike. Range three mix up with the plus one speed. Pretty nasty here, although both copies of spike are down. It's just going to be the speed six assault. Uh, super reliable. Double advantage here. It's going to be four power coming in to Furion. Second overdrive goes off. D draws another card and surely just be striking one more time. Uh, chooses to remain in that Amaterasu form. Uh, Glaive Form notably does have that minus one speed. Better if you're on long side of board and D sets an EX. Uh, not so many options on what this could be. It could be like a Glaive Stab. Could be... Could be EX Fleetfoot even at speed seven. Could be Divine Retribution as well. Fast slow mix up in here for D. Oh, with that plus one speed. I'd expect the speed seven mid speed here, the Fleetfoot. Uh, power 4, power 4, speed 7, just seems like a really, really, really reliable option. Only loses to something like EX Grasp. 
which I do believe is up for Chica, but we'll have to see what uh, what avenue Chica uses to defend. With again, could just block if he has it. Uh, just like nullify one turn, but block's not great here, especially when Avatar's is getting advantage. Yeah, Chica plays the block. Oh, it's EX sweep. Oh, that's a big, that's a big one. Uh, pulls the Maelstrom Lance as well. That's going to be a 7 power EX sweep. Uh, and yeah, of course, I'm trust is going to go again. Drops an Assault from Gage, a Die from Hand, and takes one. Amaterasu, of course, will gain advantage off that as well. Draws another card, and look at this. Look at this huge resource lead here for Amaterasu all of a sudden. Uh, courtesy of the EX sweep and, of course, the overdrive. D almost assuredly just going to be striking again. Uh, maintaining that's a reflector form. <laughs> and it's going to be that Golden Fury just negating Furion's options that much more. Drops a second copy of Block. Uh, so this is your opponent must discard a card at random and then strike. So even just just using like this this boost basically like one for one, right? Except it's one for one on cards. Uh, while Amatras is drawing cards and, and Fearing is not. Anyway, uh, Overdrive will be done soon. Uh, that four shears will run into the focus. Uh, so Fearing still does have the life lead here. Uh, D can choose his final form. Uh, once he flips back over, it'll be what? Uh, two power to Farian, four power to Amaterasu. And D running out of HP here a little bit, only down to six, whereas Farian has 14. Uh, what are Farian's ultras? Are Farian's ultras good? Uh, I mean, that's not bad. That costs five. Yep, fourth overdrive goes off. Draw one, and D looks like he is going to stick to that reflector form. So Chica does survive the storm for now, but I mean, there's four gauge here. So we could just go again. Uh, the only problem is Amatar still needs six HP to his name, so might be a little bit difficult surviving if Chica, if Furion draws the appropriate cards. And Amatar, instead of going for the overdrive, looks like it's just going to be striking again. Uh, while Swing Bloodsword's not going to do it, it's Divine Retribution, that like uh, weird focusy option. Uh, Spike, unfortunately, is going to miss first, and that, that Divine Retribution is going to hit for zero. Uh, D, of course, has to change his form, right? It's forced to change his form. Probably just going to go to the Glaive. Yep. And Glaive, of course, has no uh, downsides if you don't want it to, just because the only... So the, re the reason you switch back between Reflector and Glaive is because Rosary just has a downside, right? Uh, Rosary has an innate downside of that plus one range, minus one speed. Maybe you don't want that. Uh, between Glaive and and Reflector, you don't have that, right? Uh, so Reflector just gives you a bonus, and then this only this only uh, applies if you want to crit your attack. The way D switches uh, back to Reflector form, courtesy of the Isten's advice. Uh, D setting up six gauge somewhere. Maybe we're looking at something like a Sun Sphere. I think both copies of this card are up. The Ex Sun Sphere would be what one eleven seven here. Uh, and Chica is out of blocks, right? Chica does have EX Grasp, though. Uh, Chica just preps. Uh, and no, D actually just going, looks like he's going to go for the Overdrive once more. A little bit of lag there. One, two, three, four. So opting to go for the Overdrive instead of the Sun's Fury. Although maybe, like, still has two gauge, right? So can just, <laughs> can just Overdrive, uh, advantage a couple times, and then just hit with the Sun's Fury anyway, right? Uh, so this is a big... I mean, D down 6 to 14, but not out of the game just yet. Uh, Chica just drawing cards. Maybe he's drawing, maybe he's drawing some answer to EX Sun's Fury, because that's, I feel like that's coming out on turn 3 of the Silver Drive. Let's see what the first two, uh, what the first two options are. At the very least, Amaterasu has only 11 cards, 5 in hand, 6 in deck, so the options do become a little bit predictable, as they do for both sides. Chica has 6 in hand, 7 in deck. Chica just taking a look at those options, seeing what's left for Amaterasu. Notably, uh, Amaterasu does not strike when... I'm pretty sure Amaterasu does not strike on flow. That'd be insane if the character did. This character's already pretty good, but... Back to Furion here. 
Notably, uh, Fury does have just have EX Grasp. Like, I'm pretty sure that's... Pretty sure that's why Chica's been so comfortable just uh, prepping a whole bunch here. Pretty sure Chica does have EX Grasp in hand. Okay, Chica initiates a strike here. Range one. Don't expect this to be a grasp. Uh, just because I think saving that EX grasp is vital. Four gauge, so could be something like a like a wild rose incoming. A wild rose with six total defenses. Uh, that'd be pretty difficult for Amaterasu to pop, especially with EX sweep down as well. And it's actually that Maelstrom Lance and to the focus. So the Maelstrom Lance will hit first for what? Uh, three after armor. Focus will hit back for three after armor as well. Uh, these push or pull effects don't actually matter because D, of course, played focus. Uh, Furion can't choose to boost this one as if he wants with a before advanced surgery one. Uh, D down to three HP. Both blocks are down for D as well. A lot of armored options, I feel like, are down for D as well. So he could just die. He could just die to EX Grasp here, I think. Uh, could D at this juncture. So that's one thing he does have to be uh, a little bit concerned about. Right. Um, if he chooses to initiate with EX Um So D shouldn't just uh, mash EX probably here. Play, maybe play one card obfuscate what you're playing. Just because a lot of those options are down for Amaterasu. Yeah, D checking that discard. Uh, very diligent player, obviously not going to miss something like that. Not going to miss something like Express being up here, right? And we're actually going to see the Strings of Bead plus 2 power close to the Strike. And setting an EX. We should know what this is. We don't know what this is. Oh, it's probably the Fleet Foot. Um, and, but Fleet Foot still... Fleet Foot still loses to EX Grasp. Maybe D's just taking a little bit of a risk here. Says Chica, you don't have the EX Grasp. Although I feel like Chica does have the EX Grasp. Just because he's been sitting there prepping this whole time, right? Over something like a change cards action. Uh, but anyway, this is plus two power. Uh, if it is the Fleet Foot, I'm not saying it is the Fleet Foot 100%, but it, I feel like it's the only card we have not seen. Uh, this would be a four, six power Fleet Foot with, of course, the gain advantage on it. Pretty difficult to beat if you don't have the X Grasp. But I'm like just expecting to have Chica. I'm just expecting Chica to have the X Grasp here. Because I don't, I, think, I don't know why he's just sitting there prepping so much over like change cards. Of course, sitting there prepping was like 10 minutes ago, but. She is messing over these cards like he doesn't have the EX Grass, which is worrying. That's worrisome, I will say. Uh, what if it's not? Could be EX Glaive Stab, I guess. Oh, could be EX Glaive Could be EX Glaive Stab? Maybe that's why Chica's concerned. Have we not seen, we've not seen one of these either. Oh, so Chica can't just max mash EX Grasp here, huh? He has to be concerned about this card. This card is... Oh, and decritted as well. And it is the EX Glaive Stab. Okay, so that's why Chica can't mash the EX Grasp there. This is what, a 1... <laughs> this is a 188? Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Life tolls have been equalized... Actually, uh, you can just wild swings the cross. Yeah, nothing you can do about a 188 there. 
Yeah, sorry, my bad on missing the fact that uh, Glaive Stab was an option for so long. No wonder Chico was taking his time. Sweating bolts there. Second uh, goes off. And we're going to see the Vine Dash, so no EX Grass for you. We're, we're all the way over here. Uh, spend one for one gauge to strike as well. So do you, of course, will just advance three and then strike. Uh, the dive will go first, but Chica is not dead. Right, uh, that wild rose with three armor will survive for another turn. Amaterasu, down. Amaterasu has one HP to go, but finds himself again at range one. I don't think there are any speed 8 options left for Amaterasu. Maybe there's a single grasp left? Oh, there is single grasp left. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. and yeah, Chica can swing with that EX grasp, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, D takes it. Uh, oh, D takes it. Sets Chica's life to zero. You saw that? He, say, he said, I'm going to do it myself. And D takes game one here with the Amaterasu over the Fury and just the... Uh, the chains were too strong for Amaterasu for poor Fury to handle. And of course, that's going to be only game one, and D coming from loser side as well. Uh, so D, if he wins the set, it's, I believe it's a two out of three. Uh, if D wins the two out of three, he will just reset the bracket. Uh, Chica wins the two out of three. Of course, he will win the game, uh, win the tournament as well. So Moriarty. Moriarty, of course, the host of this tournament. Welcome. But yeah, that is going to be game one going to D. D still has the... Oh, it's been too long. D has generic orange anime character and generic purple-haired character. So I don't recognize these characters. Uh, Chika, of course, has... Uh, all three of his characters left. Boo lame. Well, I mean, sue me. It's been it's been two and a half months, Moriarty, since I uh, since I casted this. So forgive me if I don't remember. Turumi from Blaze Blue and Makoto from Persona. Thank you. But yeah, that's exactly what I meant. I, hopefully, Turumi's the orange man and Makoto's the purple hair. Right, we are going to see Makoto come out for D. I don't remember if I've seen Makoto before. And we're going to see the... There's a, another Makoto in Persona 5. Oh, okay, so this is Makoto Yuki, excuse me, from Persona 3. And up against the Shitoto. And Chika's been doing wild things, absolutely just insane things on this character. Uh, so let's see if he can pull it off once more. Not surprised to see Chika go to the Shitoto down 0-1. Maybe I have seen Makoto. I do remember these status effects. I do remember this character has like a shock or something, right? Yeah, this character does have the shock. Okay, so I do th I do remember seeing this character. I just don't remember very much about them, unfortunately. But it's okay. Uh it's gonna be it's gonna be new for some of you guys as well. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind uh me learning alongside with you. Uh this character Shitoto, we've seen so many so <laughs> This character's been a menace, I will say. This character's been such a menace. Uh, and Chica's been playing uh, this character very well. Uh, but up against the Makoto. Uh, Makoto, if the opponent is stunned, you may play a continuous boost to sustain it. It's a pretty good UA. A uh, little bit, of course, resource intensive. That's a 6 gauge uh, exceed as well. So a little bit of a resource intensive UA, but uh, that's very good for chaining strikes together. Very, very good. Makoto decked a character out in another match. Cool. I don't think we're I don't think Shitoto's getting decked out though, but cool. Anyway, Mulligan phases have happened. Uh that is that is an angsty card back. Okay. Chika just goes for the prep. Makoto boosting light at range four, so this is a card that hits with lights. Uh this is a card that already would hit, but still hits with lights. Uh, looks like those are the only ones. So yeah, we have Fast Fireball here, notably cost of, cost of Force, and we have Slow Fireball here. 
uh, which can dump a whole for bunch of forces and be pumped up to 7 power. Notably, Shoteno has the ability to win speed ties on front side. Uh, so that's something that we have to be concerned about if we are Makoto at this juncture, right? Uh, doesn't even matter. Shoteno just texts the light. Light number two for D. He's summoning his persona. Is that? I don't. I, I did, Moriarty. I'll be honest. I don't know what those words mean. And I and you put them in an order. You put them in an order that I'm I'm sure makes sense to persona fans, but does not make sense to me. But sure, he's summoning his persona. Sure. Uh, back to you, Shatoto here. I know what a summon is. Yes, I know what a summon is. It's a JoJo reference. Sorry, I'm not a I'm not an anime head. Shitoto boost cross runs up to range one. So the land where quote unquote speed does not matter. Uh, range one options for Makoto include that Vorpal Blade, the Dream Fest, which serves as a, as a pretty good mid speed here. D just crosses over back to range three, uh, where that light, of course, is is uh, super threatening. It's like a summon, but also mix in a little junky and psych into it. Very threatening, I agree. Uh, Chibi D one, uh, the Amatrasu one. Excuse me. Uh, so that was D with a sick little chain. Uh, Shitoto spending two force in the form of Foul to move to range one. Notably, Foul has Enochian on it, and Enochian is uh, kind of one of those. It's a very big part of the Shitoto engine. Uh, so discarding one already early is pretty good for D, although I'm pretty sure there's recursion on this character. I can't remember how or where. This recursion on this character, I cannot remember where. We'll learn together, though. We will, uh, we will learn together. Yeah, Avatar Su one with, like, a pretty sick chain that was just unresponsible. D spends two force in the form of, I'm sure you remember this one, to retreat to range three once more. Uh, so a lot, a lot of, uh, early game positioning so far. Wouldn't be surprised to see Shitoto spend two force to just to move to range one again. And yeah, there it is. I did not catch what the second card was. The first card is a Thunder 3, which of course can just recur itself. Did not catch what that second card is, unfortunately. DE just tacking on more stats here with the Mr. Perfect. That's plus 2, plus 2. Now we have plus 2 power, plus 4 speed for Makoto. He was both copies, maybe. Anyway, yeah, it's that mid, it's that mid speed shape that we we're talking about. Uh, at range one, it's the uh, cross up shape. Uh, Tornlis also has it. Um, it's a mid speed by virtue of movement, so this is an eight speed five power dream fest, just blocked by Shiteto here. Uh, this after effect will not go off, namely the uh, stun part, because surely Chica will be spending force here. Makoto moves to range 4, where uh, he threatens either Arrow Rain or the Slow Fireball. Uh, Shitoto, on the other hand, threatens Fire 4, although does not threaten Fire 4, no, or will threaten Fire 4 once the block hits Gage, and I don't know what else. Between the lines, we'll actually just beat every option that will beat, will not get hit by any option that Makoto throws at range 4, uh, offensively or defensively. And yeah, that's actually it. Anyway, looks like we're discarding that. Uh, Shitoto discarded that Lucid Dreaming. So that's discard. Took one damage. Uh, moved to range one. Cadenza was boosted by D, looks like. First? First or second? 
No. Probably Chica uh, moved to range 1 and then deboosted Cadenza. No, just kidding. <laughs> Opposite order. That Cadenza will hit the gauge. Gets replaced by the Fierce at range 1. Although Shitoto is on a long side of board. So Ken just cross out. In theory. Unless, unless D makes sick read and plays that. Looks like both players prep. Makoto still with that plus two power on the board. Uh wonder what this wonder what the six gauge exceed is. That's a that's a big one. It's a fat it's a fat exceed cost. And of course it's not season two, so we can't reduce those either. Although those are some pretty uh fat ultra costs as well, so maybe we won't even see them. And they're a force cost on this character as well. So uh yeah, maybe we won't be maybe we probably won't be seeing that exceed side, but it'll be cool. Uh, this character also inflicts shock on, I think, an ultra. Uh, you cannot advance or retreat. The opponent has plus one power at the end of an extra strike. Discard this. Cool. Chica checking that discard pile. Persona exceed costs are kind of fake. Says Moriarty. Are they? Why are they fake? Are there ways to... Oh, oh, it's probably like... Is there like gauge like refund on the backside? Yeah, I see. Okay. Well, I mean, the cost is still real then. Because you still have to get to it, right? But yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, D looks like he is... <laughs> D's, D's looking pretty bored here. <laughs> Look at his mouse movement. Uh... <laughs> Chico, of course, is a player that sometimes does take his time. D looks like he's just uh, moving back and forth between his cards. Uh, Shitoto initiates a strike at range 1. Could be that cross. Uh, ooh, it's the between the lines. The between the lines will go first. Uh, Shitoto will get to pick positioning. Can literally just move anywhere. Uh, we'll avoid that brutal slash decode for the mid speed option here. Uh, mid speed option at six power would beat sweep. Uh, with the push, would not beat focus. Probably beats some of the other slows that this character throws as well. Like beats the blizzard. Would beat the lucid dreaming as well. Uh, but no, Shitoto moves to moves to uh, rage three. Of course, has after add your attack to gauge, so that just gets added to gauge. Uh, D boosts the Cadenza once more, and now going to be boosting the Ignore Guard. Now move one, moves moves up to range two. Uh, that Cadenza, of course, does drop, goes to gauge. Ignore Guard, interesting. Uh, spending a Vorpal Blade to do so as well. Ignore Guard, good boost. Um, although it's a little bit slow, you can obviously just react to it by doing any number of plays. Shitoto, of course, wins speed ties as well, so can just like cannot get out of anything with cross right at this range. But definitely not a bad boost. Gives you a little bit of movement as well. Uh, new range two options. I guess second copy of Vorpal would be unfortunate for Shitoto. Can't get out of that, but okay, everything else is fine. Does he have that second copy of Vorpal? And of course, that's a pretty brutal uh, after effect as well, paired with the indoor guard. So if DX has that, if D has that uh, EX Vorpal in hand, or if he had that EX Vorpal in hand. It's a pretty good way to spend it. With the apt people and then just playing one copy of it. Only loses to block. Or by loses, I mean. Trades, I guess. You don't get that after. Chica spends the second copy of that lucid dreaming to uh, move to range one. Makoto just preps. I think this is the second copy. 
I don't know. This character is recursion, I'm pretty sure. So, just don't just don't remember where the recursion is or how it works. But I'm pretty sure this character is some nasty recursion, so it's not the end of the world. Back to Chica here. Chica checking his own options. Of course, this is a pretty uh, pretty complex character. Uh, when it works, it's very strong, but there are a lot of moving parts. A lot, a lot of moving parts to this, to this kit. Chica boosting the transpose, add this card to your gauge, activate your exceed mode, then strike. So, this is pretty early de Death's Handmaiden. Usually, we see Chica build a, like 12 gauge on front side. Uh, and it's going to be grasping just focus. So, not the best result here for Chica. Chica can discard a, a card from gauge for plus 2 power, so this will be 3 power grasp. Runs into the 4 power focus, though, so not, not the best here. Um, but this is a really early Death's Handmaiden, right? Anyway, Makoto has stunned Death's Handmaiden here with the focus, so can use that UA, and use that UA to pop that alertness, plus one speed after Retreat 2. Wait, after Retreat 2? Oh, okay. So this is an after, it's not a cleanup. So D can order his afters, get that after in. And then Strikes, plus one speed at range 3. Cute, cute. I'm pretty sure this is you have to do it, right? Probably you have to. It's it's pretty shameful that I don't know the answer, but I'm sure you have to. Anyway, Makoto at uh could just be the Thunder Rain. It's not. It's just dive. Chica Watt swings block. It looks like. Uh, so this is going to be. Uh, five power dive. Makoto then retreats to range 3. Looks like Chika has already made his spending decisions. I think he spent 1 gauge and then took 1, looks like. Uh, nope. Dachi spends the ultra. Takes nothing. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is pretty... Usually we see Chika just build... 12 gauge on front side. Uh, a lot of it with relative ease and uninteractivity. But this time, D's really uh, really put the pressure on and forced Chica to exceed early, which is uh, something that we had not seen earlier. So that's good. Ah, good call, Moriarty. So uh, one thing that I did miss is when you reveal a normal attack uh, and block as a normal attack, uh, one card gets knocked off the gauge before you even, uh, before you even spend for block, right? So that's why Chica spent, Chica had three gauge at the start, was forced to knock one off, and then spent that meteor for two force to take nothing. Yes, Chica did resolve it, uh, properly. Because he started with three gauge and ended up with two. Anyway... Uh, range three, pretty pretty brutal place to be. Uh, when you're like when you're staring down thunder thunder rain, and ignore guard, ignore armor option at range three. That also inflicts shock. Uh, D has one copy left in his deck. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and that's handmaiden can do nothing about it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it can do nothing about it. Uh, Chica tries to uh, match it with light, gets immediately attacked. Back to Chica here. D definitely helped test Shiteto. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Shiteto so far has looked to be near unbeatable, but not this game, I will say. Although this game still relatively early in terms of health totals, right? 27 to 25. 
Shotaro has looked really, 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 really strong. Even looked really strong against D, right? The one time, the last time that matchup was played, two and a half months ago. Looked really strong against D as well, but not so much here. Chika discarded a lot of his, like, gauge building options early. Um, as forced to move alongside Makoto. I believe it's Sheikah's turn here. Deck totals are getting a little bit low. Six in hand, nine in deck for Shitoto. Six in hand, seven in deck for Makoto. Yeah, Makoto also has five billion gauge. It's going to be that triple cast. Uh, put a continuous boost for your discard. It's play, play boost. And strike face up with a normal special from your discard. Normally this card costs a gauge. So yeah, we're going to be spending... We're going to be playing light from our discard we're gonna be playing reading from our uh hand and technically that was supposed to be a face of strike but whatever oh they've already resolved it it's way too late uh that's gonna mean what and six damage assault incoming uh assault is the last card in chica's gauge so still has that death hand made up yeah and you got the reading so it didn't didn't really matter in the end although technically should should have struck face up with the assault but it is what it is. They've already resolved it. Let's uh, move on here. Shitoto also moves to, or excuse me, Death's Handmaiden moves to Range 1 as well. Uh, range 1. This is the ultra that we're looking at. Uh, when you're a hit, uh, it has a, has a block thing on it, but then also can use to trade life, although she got up in life, so not sure how much life we're going to be see, seeing spent on this, right? Anyway, we're going to see the Ley Lines boosted for Chica. It's going to be plus one speed. Uh, when you move or are moved, discard this boost from play. Sustain this card. D boosts the second copy of the app, people. Chica texts it. And that second mixed to perfect comes out here for, for Makoto. That's going to be plus two, plus two. Chica boosts defend in response. So a little bit extra defenses against the plus two power. Uh, last time we saw Makoto... Up for that uh, mid speed shape at range one, the Dream Fest. From this position. Wouldn't be surprised to see that exact strike happen again, honestly. Would not be uh, surprised one bit. Moves him to range three as well. Although both copy both copies of Thunder Rain are down. Uh, we still have cards like Arrow Rain. I'm pretty sure EX actually no, only one copy of Arrow Rain's so up. D is going to boost Oratorio. Move one. You may choose. A, you may uh, tech one boost. And D chooses to tech the defend. Move one tech. Pretty good boost on an ultra. Uh, that second ability reminiscent of Shovel Knight's. Not Trouble Chalice, but the other one. I think, I think Shovel Knight has one that's like gain three life and draw three cards or something like that. I can't remember. It's been a hot minute since I've played the Shovel Knight. Anyway, D with five cards in hand, two cards left in deck. So options are getting starting to get pretty, uh, pretty known here if you're Chica. Now the threat's something like a 5 power cross at speed 8. Soul Knight's awful? What do you mean? You don't like uninteractivity, Oriati? Yeah, it's on Propeller Dagger? Yeah, thank you. You love some control middle characters. Smile, yeah. There you go. Yep. There's a dark side for everyone. I will say I'm not uh I'm not sad to see Shovel Knight go. As as a as a solo knight player. Or not as I would not consider myself a solo knight player. As a player who has dabbled in solo knight in the past, not not sad to see that character go. Not sad one bit.
I've not played Soul Knight in a year, at least. I think someone asked me to play Soul Knight against them. Was the last time I played it? it must have been last year, though. Where did I learn its behavior? Well, technically, Soul Knight is like my kind of character. It's just too boring even for me. It's the thing. Too boring even for me. I've played more Viper than I've than I've played uh, Solo Knight, Moriarty. I've played more Viper for sure. I tend to lose Viper games because I like I I like going for Temple Massage too much. I play too much Temple Massage, so I tend to not be very good with Viper. But that's a fun guard. That's a fun guard. That's going to be the second copy of Reading. Boosted for Chica. Reading Focus. D does not have the Focus. Last two cards in deck. We see Hand of EX Assault, Cross Grasp, and Arrow Rain. So we see uh, a bunch of options here that just perform really well. Assault uh So uh, what could this be if this Handmaid is Reading Focus? Could be Sweep, perhaps? Could it be... Something else could even be like a blizzard. Don't think it is. Could, can't be meteor. Only one gauge. Probably just sweep, right? Sweep pops focus at eight power. I don't see what else it could be. Uh, so yeah, D just probably just probably just responds with cross here. Don't see why you. I mean, Shitoto does not have a a one to four guard, a one to four move. So cross is just the the ultra safe play. And I don't see why you don't play it if you are D here. Puts you in prime position for the arrow rain as well. D goes for the more offensive option. Goes for the X Assault. Probably gonna... <laughs> Wait, it is foul? It is foul. <laughs> what? It is... It is foul. Well, foul gets popped, right? Foul only has four defenses, so that EX Assault, uh, <laughs> it, it was foul. I didn't expect it, I did not expect it to be foul, I'll be honest. Uh, so I didn't even, like, mention it as, as an option. Foul only has four defenses, though, so it gets popped by the EX Assault at seven power. Um, but anyway, uh, foul means, what does foul mean? Uh, so Gage is gone. Deck is gone. Hand is gone. Uh, Chica only had like four cards left in deck, so it wasn't, it's not the end of the world, I would say, but not great. Anyway, uh, Makoto takes advantage, has stunned the opponent, so can play that alertness. Plus one speed after retreat two. Uh, at the, it's the end of the turn here. <laughs> Ley lines get sustained. That's handmaiden will flip back onto the front side and draw one. Makoto gains advantage. I think that was six gauge. Are we actually gonna see what the six C does? I think we are. Looks like D just spent six gauge. He plays shock. No, just kidding. He plays I'm sure you remember this one. Okay, here's the gauge recursion, I'm sure. Can we flip the card, please?
Okay. There it is. And when you exceed, add two cards, you can discard to your gauge. So there's that uh, force recursion there. And after, uh, so all the time, you can play you can play continuous boosts and sustain them. That's uh is pretty nuts. And a little bit of, a little bit of sweep love there. Uh, so yeah, this is a uh, this is now an extremely scary character, as you would expect a six gauge ultra like seed character to be. Sorry, there's one too many words in there. I'm not sure which one. Probably ultra. Uh, anyway, this is uh, <laughs> this is now very scary. Again, it is a little bit of an intensive cost, right? Uh, you pay a card from hand, right, and sustain it. But I mean, it's still it's still insane. It's still so good. It's so good. And hey, you still have, you have force here as well, right? When you need force, right? Uh, thanks to the uh, refund. Anyway, it is Chica's turn. Chica's one card in hand. Has a big old deck. Oh, wait. Chica had cards in hand. Where do you have cards in hand from? Oh, this isn't. This doesn't interact with your hand at all. Anyway, <laughs> Chica plays a known spike from hand. Uh, it's a three power spike, obviously, uh, thanks to Shifto being on front side. And we're going to see big CC from D. That's going to be CC 6, strong 7. Excuse me, I didn't realize that Chica had cards in hand. You just kind of put them like, really far away from my uh, from my view. Uh, so yeah. Chitoro played a speed 4 spike that doesn't lose to... Uh, that wins speed ties as well. So pretty reliable there. Especially because we knew that actually uh, D had Dreamfest. Well, you could have Watts on Dreamfest, I guess, to avoid the spike. But it's only 3 damage. We're going to see the apt pupil boosted once more for D. That's going to be ignore guard now move one. Spent to the grasp to do so. I think there's just a known cross to D's hand now, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe he spent it already. I cannot remember. Oh, I'm pretty sure he hasn't. Uh, Chica still has the plus one speed. So notably, striking with cross is not quote unquote safe. Feel pretty good for Mikoto, you'd say. Yeah, I mean, like, anytime this character exceeds, I think they feel pretty good, right? Uh, we're going to be boosting the converts, plus 0 to 1 range. Now add up the two cards from your hand to your gauge. Uh, looks like Chica just wants the plus 0 to 1 range, though. Now we're looking at a speed 5 dive. Uh, is the uh, mid-speed option here for Shitoto. Uh, it would finally it would, it would finally discard that ley lines though is the only is the only thing could just be attempting to um, play sp like speed eight grasp although again Shitoto wins speed ties so you don't actually need to go up to speed eight unless D like will play I don't know anyway D uses his cross to run into the corner very interesting. Or deck comps. Uh, both 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 players have like amp they both players have just recently reshuffled. Twenty two in deck for Chica, twenty one in deck for Bagato. Uh this was the last known card in D's hand outside of the Dreamfest. That's gonna be fierce boosted for Shitoto. Reminder, uh that just means her attacks are now five power, right? Thanks to her exceed. Or not her exceed, her, her character ability. D boosting plus one speed. Uh, now both players are equal on speed. It's plus zero to one range, not doing a whole lot in this position. I will say. D moving to the corner. D moving to the corner means that that dive that we were talking about earlier for Shitano is no longer an option. It's no longer like a safe option. I guess it's an option, but it's not a good one. You see, Chica initiate strike here, perhaps. This character, because of 
the um the UA is kind of incentivized to not necessarily strike just cuz uh, whenever your opponent strikes into Shitoto, whenever the opponent strikes into Shitoto, Shitoto kind of yoinks that uh, attacker's advantage, right, of uh, beating speed ties. So I think Shitoto's, like, if there's another boost, Shitoto's just more than happy to keep boosting. Unless there's, like, a reading, like, a random reading coming out, or... Unless this character is something like a preemptive strike, right, a, a boost like that, where you can boost to not only... Uh, take control of the boost war, but also strike on top of it. But this character does not have a boost like that. Uh, we're <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this boost. It's a gauge cost boost. Mana wall, you cannot take damage from normal attacks when you are hit to push two. Uh, that, is <laughs> that is such a spicy boost. Uh, D, going to be playing EX here. Uh, could it just be the EX uh, Dreamfest at speed 8? Notably loses to second copy of Grasp if you are Shitoto. Hopefully this is not too much of an overcommitment here from Chica. Uh, hope, but it, maybe the EX catches him off guard there. Right, uh, the mana wall is... The mana wall is boosted so that Chica... Chica I'm, maybe there's a world where the mana wall is boosted. So that uh, he prevents D from playing Grasp at speed 8, right? But instead, uh, this is going to be another speed 8 option in that EX... Whatchamacallit? EX Tree Fest. Uh, which would really kind of not be great. I mean, Sweep is a, sweep is an option that deals with it, right? With the plus 0 to 1 range. Oh, Sweep doesn't auto deal with it. There's an ignore, ignore Guard on the board. Excuse me, forgot about that. Chica could be in real trouble here. Chica could be in real trouble here. Oh yeah, there's an after retreat too here as well. So yeah, this is uh, this is uh, speed eight. Ignore guard. We're just assuming that it's that card. Uh, so Chica doesn't have second copy of grasp. He's in real trouble. Plays a speed seven cross. I don't think that's enough. It's not that E extreme fest at speed eight. And of course, uh, well, at the very least, no no discarding of gauge there. Uh, Dreamfest builds an additional gauge, but yeah, this is going to be what a four power ex Dreamfest. And yeah, D just showing he has a speed eight option against a Chica speed seven cross. No uh, no second grass available for Chica there. That would have been the option that wins. Anyway, this, there's an after advance 4, there's an after retreat 2. Uh, technically, the after retreat 2 can go before the after advance 4. Uh, we are boosting Mr. Perfect for 2 extra power on that as well. So 2 extra power for this strike. and Actually, no. It's just for the next strike because it's an after. Uh, so that's going to be what a 4 power during fest. Uh, Makoto only chooses to go to range 4. Could have gone to wherever. But... Uh, What about Mana Wall? Oh, yeah, Mana Wall has a push 2 on it. Good call, Moriarty. Well, actually, um, Mana Wall pushes into the corner more. Um, because Mana Wall is when you're hit. So it looks like the players have played it properly. Anyway, uh, Chica just preps. Again, like, that was only a 4 power move, technically, but uh, the prep allows D to prep because D was really low on resources. Uh, and Shitoto now has to deal with the plus two, plus two on the board. Granted, has plus one speed uh, herself, does Shitoto, but. Uh, yeah. Both players have 18 cards left in deck. We're not in deck out territory just yet. Well, I could see this turning into a deck out game, funnily enough. We have, oh, these, I like these. I quite like these cards. Okay, Shitoto boosts light at range four. 
Uh, Chitato's range four options include Thunder at speed six, uh, Fire at speed six. Fire does not work. There's no gauge. Just kidding. Uh, Sugu Thunder at speed six and dive. I guess. D just prepares. Again, makes sense. Makoto character that uh, while this ability is super strong, you need cards in your hand, right? You don't want to. You don't want to burn too bright. And then our run out of options in hand, so D prepping here just makes a lot of sense. Uh Shitoto's up plus one speed over Makoto at this point in time. There'll be one copy of Arrow Rain down, which is which would be the speed seven option to beat Thunder Three. So Thunder Three is actually looking like a pretty good um combat option here if Chica has a second copy, right? Uh, Chica just preps. Uh, right, so Thunder 3 would beat the dive from Makoto. Would not beat EX Dive and would not beat Arrow Rain, but would beat the other cards. Oh, D actually almost building up that third gauge for Thunder Rain. That could be problematic in the future. Could be something to look out for. Right, but if you're Makoto in this position, you can't just like strike with Dive. You have to strike with Arrow Rain. Shitoto can't just, like, get out there with second copy of Ley Lines as well. Oh, okay, D, D putting even more pressure on. Second uh, second speed boost there in, in the form of a light. If he had dive, wouldn't he just attack the light? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, he has to strike with it. Yeah, of course, he would just attack it. But this is going to be plus two power, plus four speed on the side of Makoto, and plus three speed on the side of Shitoto. Uh, this between the lines still just kind of wins a bunch of combats, but outside of that, not a whole lot. So what is Shitoto to do here? Surely not boost another copy of light. But, um... Range 4. Ooh, is that a strike that Chica's considering? That is a strike that Chica's considering. Says, do you have... Is this... Oh, it takes it back. Huh. I wonder if Chica does strike here. Because... If we're running the if we're, if we're running in the assumption that if D had a dive you attack, then D doesn't have a dive unless he just drew it. Oh, the one copy of error rains down. Could he be thinking that this is a bluff from D? Could she be thinking that this is a bluff from D? I mean, he takes it back, so clearly he thinks twice about it. But checks deck sizes. D has six in hand, fifteen in deck. Shitoto has seven in hand, fifteen in deck. So both players are getting a little bit close. Chica shuffles the hand once more and sets a strike. Could this be dive? Could this be between the lines? Could this be the Thunder 3? The spicy Thunder 3 at speed 6? Uh, Makoto has plus 1 speed over Shitoto at this point. We have no clue how Shitoto is alive. I mean, D just succeeded. Not not a whole lot of high power strikes this uh, game hunts. Like most most of the like the strikes have been on average like three or four power, outside of that one X assault, and then that X assault had two armor behind it as well, so was only five total damage. Is probably how uh, Shitoto is still alive. Anyway, could this be the Thunder Three or the Fire? I uh, can't be the Fire Four. Or is it just a second copy of Between the Lines? Oh, there's an Arrow Rain in there. <laughs> D had the second copy of Arrow Rain. 
And uh, yeah, that is obviously going to be the between the lines. Has to be six da six damage arrow rain. Um, technically, technically, this is the wrong order. Because D should be... Maybe D's not playing continuous call with boost and sustaining it, but he should be doing that before he discards a card from Chica's hand. G, of course, does have a cleanup ability. Uh, can move up to 8. If he does move to move up to 8, though, this boost gets discarded. The Ley Lines. So could just keep both copies of Ley Lines down for plus 2 speed. Uh, that's a big combat win. Oh! oh. Moves to range four, takes it back. Moves to range one, excuse me. So both both the ley lines get discarded, as do the light. Uh, both of these boosts obviously get discarded. Uh, Makoto loops that arrow rain. And now it's back to D here. Uh, sitting at range one. Not obviously not the best wild swing option, although it, it is one that you can invalidate, I guess. But uh, Makoto looking to strike here while the iron's hot, almost assuredly. Yeah, and there it is. Mm, would be surprised if this just sweep or something. It's focused two for two. Uh, technically, D can uh, draw a card and then boost something. Wait, D can draw a card and boost alertness and avoid the focus. Oh, not two for two. Not two for two, two for nothing. And Shatoto's focus now. Wi wait, uh, no, Shatoto's focus not does not whip because Shatoto's focus goes first. Never mind. Uh, D just chooses range three at the end, so Shatoto's focus wind speed tie goes first. Hits for, uh, should hit for one after armor. Uh. Oh, no, they, yeah, okay, they figured it out, alright, uh, so yeah, what happened there, let's just explain it for you, for everyone, one more time, both players were real focused, Shatoto wins speed ties, so Shatoto goes first, hits for one after armor, right, because it's a three power focus, and then D goes ahead and hits back for two after armor, Boosting this, retreating two to range three, but that's after the after Shatoto's focus already hit. So yeah, we are we're good. Uh, Makoto, of course, representing plus one speed at range three. Pretty good thing to represent. Has three gauge for the thunder rain, although I think one copy's down. I think one cop. Well, I mean, one we know one copy's down. I don't know if the second. I'm pretty sure the second copy's up. But I cannot uh, cannot remember. And yeah, D looking really good here to take the set 2-0. Uh, oh, did we miss an after? No. What's going on here? Oh, he's... Oh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. And also, what happens here is uh, Shitoto's attack hits Gage on after, and thus these printed defenses go bye bye. And when these pretend when Focus leaves the board, Shitoto has no armor and no guard. And then, thus, Makoto actually does hit for four and stun Shitoto. All right. Uh, love these custom characters and love all the rules stuff that happens in between them. Absolutely love it. No sarcasm there at any point.
but yeah, I know, right, Petersonian? What's up, Petersonian? I'm just le learning on the fly here. I just wanted to cast some nice wholesome exceed, and instead we got we've got all these rule shenanigans. I got I got fifty percent of it, so I'm pretty happy with my conversion rate overall. But uh, no, we missed that second part. Honestly, I did not know that um, when when this car leaves, your armor leaves with it. I had no idea that happens. It makes sense, but I had no idea that it happened that way. Could do Arakune Umina later. I am good. Anyway, it is <laughs> whose turn is it again? Should be the. I think it's Chica's turn. I think. I think it's Chica's turn. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 80% sure that it's Chica's turn. That's pretty good, I'd say. Okay, we're going to see the triple cast come out. Uh, play two boosts and then strike face up with a card from discard. Boosting light, boosting defend, and striking with what? Striking with why boosting defend? Striking with assault. Okay, boosting with defend, just to um, this is a this is this seems hmm hmm. Does D have a any defensive card in hand? D does not, but he wall swings block, so it's okay. It's gonna be four damage assault, three damage assault incoming. Remember when we thought it was a force cost? Yeah, I do. I do remember when we thought triple cast was a force cost. I do remember. Uh, D boosts additional armor as well, because why not? That's plus two armor and stun immunity. A Shitoto with advantage will just, will just prepare. D does the same. Up 17 to 6. I know, we thought we thought Shitoto was just SSS tier. SSS plus. Uh, but no, there are multiple gauge boosts in this game. In this set character, Manowal, Triple Cast, and Adol are all gauge costs. Yeah, she doesn't have to pay. This character's insane. Anyway, Chica preps and D immediately sets a strike with plus two armor and stun immunity. It's block and it's a spike! Shithoto just down to one measly hit points. Uh, D boosts second copy of that uh, Entering Soul. And yeah, spike there. Pretty good there. Uh, pretty good from D, right? Stun immune. You just saw you just saw Shitoto play an assault, although that assault came from the discard. Shitoto likely not playing dive. And no real uh, advancing options here, right, from in the kit. And like if you get crossed out, you take one boohoo, not the end of the world. Doesn't Makoto still have error rain? Both copies of error rain are down. So cross is not death, but correct, Petersonian. That is exactly the the order of events that happened. I'm not going to repeat it for everyone else. Sorry, sorry, YouTube. Point is, there's no error range. If you want, if you want, you can go back and, and see. But anyway, I think it is. I think it's Chica's turn. Chica's one HP to his name, so especially to Makoto, who doesn't have a huge, who doesn't have a huge hand. But so anyway, no deck. I'm gonna say, is there any way there's a deck out that happens? And no, there's not. Not not these deck counts are a little bit too high for a deck out. 
Uh, but it looks like D is going to be resetting this bracket unless something absolutely tragic happens. Uh, the previous games that we had seen with Shitoto, she had just been able to build just an immense amount of resources, and that is, D has largely prevented that from happening with the Makoto here. Deck out would be impressive. Deck out would be, uh, I think uh, colluding would be more of the correct word there. But anyway, it's me, the triple cast once more. Oh, interesting. Retreats back to range six, pops plus two power on it, and probably just going to strike with a thunder. Yep, and that's going to be a seven damage thunder that um, Makoto can't do a whole lot about. I mean, Makoto still has armor, right, but nothing that hits at six. Oh, wait, that hits at six. Agalao hits at six. Right? Does he have the Agalau? A Jalau? Agalau? I don't know. Uh, D has just enough force to uh, make that hit at range 6. I'm pretty sure both of these are up for D. Oh, and obviously she got to take a bit of a risk here, right? Uh, it's just Assault. So Makoto does move into range 4. Uh, we'll take 7. Uh, we'll not take 7, we'll take 5. Of course, because it's Shisoto. Uh, D's after will go first, right? So D can play a boost and sustain it, a continuous boost. I don't think there's a continuous boost in the deck that dodges this. Yeah, there's not. Uh, so D will eventually get hit by the summon 3, but uh, can just set up a checkmate or something, maybe. Uh, deal doesn't leave two cards in hand, though, is the issue. So, it would be a little bit expensive, and you don't want to be blowing too many resources, because I feel like it's how you lose this game if you're Makoto. So maybe you just let it rock. Yeah, D just lets it rock. That's going to be a three damage Thunder 3 incoming. Uh, Chica will return that second copy of Thunder 3 to hand. Just kidding. He will not, because it's in his deck. Uh, of course, that Thunder 3 was the loop. Uh, was that original convert that was played on that uh, on that boost war at the start of this reshuffle where D played EX Dream Fest. The beginning of the end for Shitoto, really. Both players prep. D preps once more. Chica preps once more. That's going to be a plus 2 speed coming out for D here off the, uh, off the Agila. I, I feel like I pronounce this differently every single time I've read it. Uh, maybe Persona Nerds can help me pronounce this word. Aguila. Great. So I pronounced it three different uh, three different ways, and not one of them was correct. Perfect. Love it. Aguila. Cool. Thank you, Moriarty. Back to Chica here. Uh, plus one speed for Makoto. Both arrow reins are down. Something like a dive is five speed. Um, I think there's a slow fireball here. Send copy of this will be four speed. Uh, we are just waiting on Thunder Rain. This, this is a Thunder Rain waiting room. It could be a Thunder Rain waiting room. I don't... Maybe maybe there's one that's a little... If there's one left, then there is. And if it's if there's not one left, then there isn't, right? Shitoto still has 14 HP to make up, and with Prince of Power of 3, that's going to be extremely difficult. But possible. But possible. Yeah, I would assume Chica's win con involves flipping at some point. 
I would assume that's, that's what's uh what's gonna happen here. I'm assuming this card also gets spiked. Think 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 there's a win con here for Chica. It involves flipping and spiking. Obviously it's not gonna be this card in particular that gets spiked, but I feel like that's the win con. Unless, of course, there's a copy of that left in the deck. If there's a copy of that left in the deck, then all bets are off. Granted, she has to figure out how to deal with plus two speed right now, right away, already. So, and it's gonna it's gonna happen with a reading. He shuffles his hand and in, in anticipation for the reading. What will be read? Reads cross. D reveals cross, and it's the Thunder 3. We got Thunder 3 loops, except we don't, because uh, both Thunder 3s now engage. Uh, so D can, of course, play Continuous Boost first. Plays a Light. And takes 3. Uh, D will now have to move in at some point. So that's two force in the form of, I'm sure you remember this one, to move to range four. Still has that light in play. That's uh, three damage more for Shitoto. Three little baby damage more. Still have a waste to go here. At one HP, you cannot just succeed here, because surely D just does something. She can now checking discards. Makoto has four cards in hand, five in deck. Shitado has five cards in deck. Five cards in hand is six in deck. Again, deck out not looking super likely, but like the the it went. I think it ticked up from like zero point one percent to maybe like one percent now. Light gets teched. D checking discards here. Maybe performing a reading of his own. Five in hand, five in deck. No, D just confidently sets strike at we're at range four. If this is up, then I mean that's just game, right? That's that's game and bracket reset. We <laughs> we don't know if it's up because we don't have our card counters because we're we're rocking with the, the custom characters here, of course. Uh, notably, this is not game. Just kidding, this is not game. Uh, <laughs> D could be... D could... Uh, Shitoto can just, like, strike with cross and avoid it. My bad. Forgot to forgot to call that one out. Chica with the wild swing. And it's just... It's diving to sweep the most boring and... Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, <laughs> we, were, we, were we, were we were hypothesizing all these things. D actually did have the Ethan on her right in hand. Uh, but Chica did not have the cross. Anyway, that is going to be... Two games going in favor of D. Uh, the first one I cannot remember. It was the uh, the dog. What's the dog's name? Amasrasu over Furion, and now Makoto over Shitoto. And looks like that's going to be it for us. Bracket reset will be happening next time on the stream. Um. Die because if Shitoto crosses, he can Thunder Rain. True. True, 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 true. Very true. Game plan was there. Yeah. Game plan was there. And it's not like Dive, like, loses to things. I mean, Dive loses to Chica's own Dive, but Chica would be, like, wild swinging that Dive almost assuredly. Like, Chica won't be playing Dive from hand, right? To beat the Thunder Rain. Um, but good end game plan there for. Oh, you're just listening in? Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, anyway, that's going to be 2-0 in favor of Tarantkin, a.k.a. D, which means that Chica gets knocked into loser's bracket, and we're going to have a bracket reset incoming, but that bracket reset is going to be happening not this time, but next time. Uh, next time will hopefully not be two and a half months from now, like it was last time. I, well, I doubt that it will be. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the content, the customs content. Uh, of course, there will be more coming your way soon. I also have season seven videos in the pipeline. They'll be on YouTube though. They're already they're already recorded. They just need to be casted over just because uh, we were just kind of in chat, not really talking about the game. We were talking about other stuff. But I have sets against Rose, and I have sets I've two sets against Rose, I believe, 
and one set against Amigo Hunter coming out uh, on YouTube. And I say coming out, uh, they've been ready for like a week or so. I just haven't cast it over them, but maybe I'll do that at some point, although I'm busy this weekend, so maybe not. Uh, but look forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream. If you did, uh, follow on Twitch, like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you for the next one, or whenever that may be. But until then, guys, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Oh yeah, and we don't we don't do outros here. We it just the stream just ends abruptly. So uh, enjoy that. <laughs>